I'm so excited that things have started moving now. On June 21st, the government of Canada announced the details of the first phase of its approach to aging border measures for travelers entering Canada. Who can travel? When can travel? And what are the restrictions and requirements for vaccinated and non-vaccinated travelers? To get all that details, stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Charisma. Hope you all doing great and staying safe. If you are new here, I provide information and free advice about Canadian immigration and help people to apply for Canada PR, which can save them a lot of money. Without a further delay, let's start today's video. Started on June 21st, 2021, any foreigner national who holds a valid confirmation of permanent residence, means COPR, may travel to Canada. Individual whose COPR has expired should not book flights or attempt to travel to Canada until they receive a new COPR from IRCC. A COPR's validity which can last up to one year is tied to applicant's passport and their immigration medical examination. Because COPR and medical is valid only for one year, you may need to send your passport to IRCC office to get the visa stamp again and you may need to get a new medical. However, many applicants were not able to travel to Canada before their COPR expired due to the travel restrictions or other COVID-19 later considerations. IRCC has been working with applicants who were already exempt from the travel restrictions to reissue them a COPR. Applicants with expired COPRs before March 18, 2020 comes under this category. For the applicants with expired COPR issued after March 18, 2020, more information on when and how to obtain a new COPR will soon be available on IRCC's website. All people traveling to Canada, including those approved for permanent residence, must comply with the COVID-19 health measures and requirements upon arriving in Canada. All travelers must follow the Flying to Canada requirement checklist until July 5th, 2021. Beginning July 5th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m., fully vaccinated travelers who were permitted to enter Canada will not be subjected to federal requirements to quarantine or take a COVID-19 test on day 8. In addition, Fully vaccinated travelers arriving by air will not be required to stay at a government authorized hotels. To be considered fully vaccinated, a traveler must have received the full series of a vaccine or combination of vaccines means two doses accepted by the government of Canada at least 14 days prior to entering Canada. Currently, those vaccines are manufactured by Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca or Covishield, Janssen means Johnson and Johnson. Travels can receive their vaccine in any country and must provide documentation supporting their vaccination in English, French or with a certified translation. Means if your vaccine certification or vaccine document is not in English or French, you need to get translated by certified translator. For these new measures to apply to them, Fully vaccinated travelers must still meet all other mandatory requirements including pre and on arrival testing. Fully vaccination travelers must also be asymptomatic, have a paper or digital copy of their vaccination documentation and provide COVID-19 related information electronically through ArriveCan prior to arrival in Canada. If you have any question about ArriveCan, you can go watch this video on my channel. It will walk you through the whole app. They must still present a suitable quarantine plan and be prepared to quarantine in case it is determined at the border that they do not meet all of the conditions required to be exempt from quarantine. As with all other exempt travelers, they will be required to follow public health measures in place such as wearing a mask when in public, keep a copy of their vaccine and test results, as well as a list of close contacts for 14 days after entering to Canada. For travelers who are not fully vaccinated, there are no changes to Canada's current border measures for them. They must continue to follow the flying to Canada requirement checklist 
until next phase. Unvaccinated air travels must also a book three night stay at government authorized hotel before their departure to Canada. So if you are not fully vaccinated or you haven't got one of those that four vaccine, you have to follow flying to Canada requirement checklist. I will leave the link for this website in the description. You can go on this website and read it properly each and everything. If I go down here, you can see the checklist, assess your quarantine plan before you travel, get your pre-entry COVID-19 test, reserve your three night hotel stopover, register in advance for your arrival test, use arrive can to submit your travel details up to 72 hours before arrival. After that, if you are boarding your flight before that, have your arrive can accept and pre-entry test result ready to provide to the airline. Check the requirements for boarding a flight to Canada so you can check according to flight. Or after arriving in Canada, have your arrive can accept test result, hotel confirmation and quarantine plan ready for assessment by a border services officer. Take a test on arrival. Go directly to your pre-booked hotel for up to three nights to await result for your arrival test. So that's how you can read all this website. Again, you need to follow all the restrictions if you are not fully vaccinated. As we all know, Canada has extended its ban on incoming passenger flights from India by another 30 days until July 21st, 2021. But Air Canada and Air India started the booking for end of July. So hope for the best. If you have any question, please feel free to leave me a comment below, DM me on Instagram or email me on CanadianCrisma at Yahoo.com. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. I will be back with more updates. Till then, stay positive, stay safe. Thanks for watching this video.